Drunk, I inadvertently fell into Mrs. Everly's back garden, face first. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, you can it, Owen. That's not what I meant. I was talking metaphorically. Well, don't you mean metaphor? Oh, never mind. Oh, God. I can't remember anything from last night. Uh, oh, what's the time? I can't read it. My eyes are blurry. Yeah. You've got better eyes. You've got glasses on. Oh, goodness. Oh, um, we're going to be late for the meeting with Mr. Mars. What, Mars? What, Bruno? No, our boss, Jill Mars. Come Jill, on. I thought it was Gil. You are very drunk. Just, just, just go! Let's, come on. Go, let's, go! Uh, <laughs> who stuck that to me? <laughs> uh, that was Jeff. He had the hub tight sticky glue. You know, you need to take a break. Take a Kit Kat! Oh, oh Christ! Oh, oh, I'm best friends with the floor again. Late. He should be here by now. Chill, Owen. He'll be here, okay? He's like the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Surely he's going to turn up soon. Well, what if he's already been and we've missed him? We'll be in so much trouble. <sighs> will you stop panicking? Listen, if it all goes wrong, I will save the day like I always do. Okay. Wind's died down. He'll be here soon. Wait, I think I actually might be him. <gasps> At posh, we'll get found out. <clears throat> oh, my head. Hello, Jill. Go. Ah, oh, Simon and are you here? Right. Now listen, our company has not been profitable recently, so by tomorrow I want to see all of your toy designs on the table, because if, if we do not comply, we could all go bankrupt and go under and lose our jobs. Uh, yeah, well, um, we've been working on some toy designs, some really interesting ones. I think the kids will be very intrigued by... No, we haven't. We haven't got a single idea between there's us. There's lots of um, plans that we have at my place. If you ever want to come round and see them tonight, maybe over dinner. You, you can't even cook. Even you burn frosties. <laughs> yes, brilliant idea. I'd love to come to them. Thank you for your invitation. It's been years since I've had pedant food. Great, anyway. Don't disappoint me, otherwise we'll all turn into Toy R Us and we're more of a Hamley's time market. Oh, they're all done like this. What happened there? I'm sorry. It's like, I, it's like I left the room for 30 seconds. What happened there? Well, you did kind of leave the room a little bit for 30 seconds. Oh, you can it, Owen. For goodness sake, why would you invite him over dinner? We have no... One, you can't cook. B, you can't even bloody cook. See, we don't have any toy designs, and we've got a bloody hangover. I panicked, okay? What can I say? Oh, you're a useless gob hand, you know this. You were like this when we went to the theatre, we went to the popcorn lady and came back with two packs of laxatives and a Rolex bloody watch. <sighs> if we die, well, if we get fired, I am blaming you for this. I hope you know that, and him for firing us. Let's see what food we've got. Look, Owen, I think you should really reconsider this. 
I mean, honestly, do you think it'd be a smart idea to make a mill for the likes of Gil Mars? He's the most ruthless boss ever. We've only ever had one boss, and that's him. Well, look, I'm just trying to get in his good books. You should as well. Yeah, all right, getting into his good books is one thing, but did you actually have to send him a bloody Valentine's Day card a few days ago? That's just weird, awkward, and creepy. I just wanted to know how much we love and appreciate him, that's all, even if it wasn't Valentine's Day. Oh, listen, look, it's going to be too much hassle to have to do all this. Besides, I think I'm busy tonight. Oh, yeah, doing what? Oh, well, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, well, um, let's see, there's the, um... Yeah, actually, it's a good, good question. Yeah, it is, yeah. Look, 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 look. Your hat's just too far away from mine. It's only a few doors down! Yeah, but still. Oh, okay, right, well, at least let me help tonight, all right? Let me, let, me, let me just do the best I can. Let me let me bring something or something. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Thanks for being so helpful, you can bring the dessert. Bring the dessert? No, I was thinking about bringing something sweeter than that, like Lucinda. You know, Lucinda Block, our... our, our Favourite colleague, or my favourite colleague, you know, I've loved her for so many years. Oh, she's amazing. <laughs> yeah, look, I really don't want to disappoint you, but I'm going to have to disappoint you. <sighs> it's bad enough that everybody in this place is like a box of hamsters trying to crawl over each other just to hunt the next person. You can't be thinking like that, not tonight. Oh, but she's the object of my dreams that makes me cream in my jeans. You say that about every woman you meet. Oh, go on, name another woman that I've said that about then, go on. Oh, let's see, um, there was, um, what's that woman that you spoke to and it turned out she was a working girl? What, Juanita? Yeah. Uh, well, what can I say? She, she stole my heart. Yeah, and Juanita also stole your wallet from what I recall. Did you get that back? Oh uh, yeah, I did. It's just missing some of the money, my library card, my blood donors card, and my oyster card. Uh, stop it, will you? Can it, Irwin? You're always going off on a bloody tangent. Look, I'm sorry, I really am, but, you know, we have to be professional tonight. This is strictly business. It's just me, you, and Gil Miles. We can't let anything else come in between, okay? No thoughts of intimacy or female contact or anything like that, okay? Are you even listening to me? What? Wait, what? What? No, wait, what? No, sorry, I, I was just thinking about Lucinda's behind. God, God, my toy designs, and I've got his head in this game. I would, I would at you if I could. I can't even do it. It's because my lips are too small. If I had Mick Jagger lips like that one, I'd be better at it. Can you believe this, viewers? It's my party too, and I can't even invite the woman of my dreams. <sighs> Joke's on him, though. Little does he know that I'm going to try and invite her anyway. Hopefully she'll say yes. I mean, what he doesn't know won't exactly hurt him, especially when it happens tonight. I can still hear you, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, that wasn't me. That was somebody else that sounded like me. Hi, <coughs> 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 do you... Need a drink or something? Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, something needs to be in my throat. It's blocked. How are you, Lucinda? Did you go for a nice wee? Not that I'm trying to be nosy about people weeing, you know, urinary infections, you know. I said, you know, I said my granddad died. Well, actually, he didn't die, he dragged in the river in Thailand. Anyway, I'm rambling. How are you today? Um, fine. What are you doing here? I'm just in the unisex toilet, just having a look around. I haven't been here for a long time, so it's nice furnishing. It's not unisex. Yeah, it's just like a woman, uh, an image of a woman on the door wearing a dress, like she's quite wide. Yeah, that means this is a lady's toilet. You don't know that. It could easily very well be a bloke in drag, like Mrs. Doubtfire. You know the scenes where he's going in and out of the women's and men's toilets? It's, oh, God, you've got me going off on a rant again. If you were Irwin, I would have told you to count it by now. Anyway, um, so since we've known each other for a long time, I just thought I'd come and ask you, um, are you free tonight? For what? Um, a great feast that Erwin and I are preparing to throw. We're not actually going to be throwing the feast, we're going to be doing the feast. Not doing the feast, we're going to be cooking the feast. Because, you know, we've never hung out outside of work, we're work colleagues, we're in the same department, mm -hmm. and we're, we're trying to impress uh, uh, Gil so he doesn't fire anyone in this department. I'm sure you heard about him having a go at some of the other people that work here. Well, he does that. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight, so... Yes! 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 Sorry. C calm down, there are other women around here. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> it might sound like I'm doing... Yeah, uh, sorry. I got big Well, you know, free food's always a plus. Yeah, I mean, the homeless don't get that often. Mm. Sorry, that was insensitive. 
That was a joke that Erwin told me, blame him. Anyway, um, well, do you know where Erwin lives? I'll, I can always give you his address if I... Um... That would be best. Well, he is actually is. a card, a business card that he's made. It's mainly for his mother's bakery services, but just, yeah, that's his house address. I live not too far from a few doors down. Um, so yeah, uh, about uh, eight o'clock. Yeah, sure. Okay, take care. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually a woman's toilet. See, I am here, finally. Yeah, so you've managed to make it after all this time. Yeah, here I am, rocking like a hurricane. Well, I guess that text you sent me about being trapped in crocodile infested water mixed with toxic waste wasn't worth worrying about after all, hmm? They almost bit into a piece of leisure suit Larry, if you must know. It was very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Well, if that was the truth, now ask me this, clever trousers, okay. wouldn't the toxic waste just kill the crocodiles? What can I say? I was lucky. Mm, yeah, you were, weren't you? Yeah, I'm always lucky. Yeah, lucky to have made up a story. Look, most of the food is being done right now. It's in the oven. I'm just mixing this a little bit. We're running out of spices. I need to get some basil, some oregano, some cumin, okay? So if you just take oh, this... Oh, we'd have to hit me for. Just keep mixing it, and I'll be back soon, okay? I'll try and be quick as I can. Okay. Can you do this? <sighs> When have I ever failed you? And don't bring up that time when we went to the ball pond, because that was a mistake when I hit you in the eye with an orange ball. Okay, I'll try and be as quick as I can. I wonder what this is anyway. Yes, Mum, I know it's been a long time since seeing you, but admittedly, you do favour Ivy, Bruce and Sean over me. Yeah, I don't care if they're your cats, alright? You put them ahead of your own son. Oh, I'm selfish, because I didn't send your Mother's Day card. I sent you some chocolates. Admittedly, the strawberry ones were missing, so I love those. But, oh, I am a son of a bee. I am a son of a bee. Isn't it quite hypocritical that you are actually the bee that birthed your son, which is me? I'm running again. Oh, 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 slinging verbals, are we? Yeah, all right, well, you're a troglodyte. You're a repulsive vagina. Yeah, 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 I didn't think I had that one up my sleeve, and I'm wearing a t-shirt, yeah. Oh, you want to do your mama jokes? You want to get, you want to, get to that level? Yeah, your mum's so fat, she was born over a three-day period. Yeah. Your mum is so fat, she's the size of the moon. When I had sex with your mama, I had to wear climbing gear and crampons. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Google crampons. Right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult Nan. Don't call me a mother effer. Seriously, if you keep talking to me like, go on, I dare you, say it again, I, I double dare you, mother cracker. Say that to me again, I'll shove your head so far up your backside you'll be playing Chinese whispers with your farts. Fascist! And this is what mother relationships are like, ladies and gentlemen. I wish my dad was still alive. Well, he is, he's just missing. What? The food! What about it? It's bad. <gasps> Why can't you ever do anything right? Just ask one favour of you, please, Larry. Only made one mistake. When have I ever messed up your meals before? At uh, that time, I asked you to go out and get some food. I asked you to get me something Turkish. And what did you do? You actually plucked up a Turkish guy from that forest... That bust up a forest game. We did ask for turkey. <sighs> uh oh. That's going to be Gil. What should we do? Uh, switch the lights off and crash.